And the uptick in flu cases is creating problems for schools. The Department of Health says just last week, 7.5% of students in the state missed class. Today, Cleveland County schools were virtual after leaders noticed a significant spike in the number of positive flu cases in the district. THV 11's Frederick Price spoke with the superintendent and has more on why they ultimately decided closing their doors was the best decision. Inside Cleveland County Schools Thursday, no students in class. Instead, teachers and custodial staff cleaning and disinfecting top to bottom. In the five years I've been here, we have never had the amount of uh, absences due to flu that we've seen in the last few days. As of Wednesday, Superintendent Craig Dupree says 22 staff members in the district, 54 high school students and 86 elementary kids all out sick because of the flu. He began to notice the uptick on Monday. Several staff members had called in sick already and uh, there was a pretty good line of students at the uh, nurses station. The spike in positive cases in the schools isn't the only challenge. Davy King is the Ryzen High School principal. We're already dealing with a low and you know uh, a minimum amount of subs as it is. He says teachers from all areas combined classes to supervise students and eventually school leaders needed a different plan. So our, our staff has been hit really hard making it difficult to us to you know provide supervision and continue on instruction with our students. Ultimately Dupree decided closing the school is the best decision. It's not an easy choice and I know uh, that it's hard on parents to arrange for babysitters. But the only way he believes this will keep students and staff safe before returning on Monday. We did not want to get into a situation where we were having to put large groups of students together. Hopefully 72 hours gives us a chance to kind of get a handle on things. And all schools in the district will be using AMI days Thursday and Friday as staff continue to clean. Superintendent Dupree says since they were virtual during the pandemic, this was a tough but familiar pivot. In Cleveland County, Frederick Price, THV 11 News. Frederick, thank you. And we mentioned the absentee rate for the whole state. The health department reports that at least 8% of students in Cleveland County missed school last week.